Then after talking about the diagram to explain how we are setting up all those things, and then next, uh, the next step is to do some live demos for you. As you can see, we have already renamed all the video sources coming from different studios and all the videos are either from the NDI cameras or from the NDI converters or softwares, uh, the screen captures, so we just rename it. Although some of them are in, in Chinese, uh, but everything actually is all the sources we're using here. With the NDI core, you can automatically discover all the and then signals and we can create different source groups, add the sources into the control panel. And for the output, uh, we can easily set the you know, different destinations, different monitors, either in different studios or in the control center in the meeting room, uh, just uh, name it. And then uh, you know, we can also set a kind of uh, uh, playlist to realize the automatic switch uh, and also the uh, rollback between different signals. So it's quite easy and flexible to customize whatever you want. So you can select the source list, uh, edit, uh, set the play duration, and then it will automatically switch between the selected sources. And then, uh, of course, if you go back to the control panel, uh, the control panel, you can uh, select whatever inputs and outputs, and then uh, you can also uh, just control everything. And the next part is uh, in our studio too. Uh, we will show you how easy it is to use the control panel to uh, route the signals into uh, a different destination. And then uh, from the left, that's the control panel. You can see we are operating it well on the right uh, is the OBS uh, we are putting on the studio 2 and you can see easily we just uh, switch between different video sources through the NDI core and of course uh, with the NDI core all the videos uh, can just directly distribute it and uh, the switching can be quite seamless and then uh, let's show something different uh, you know, in the meeting room, there is actually a big screen, and through uh, just through the NDI core, we can also distribute any of the NDI signals into the display to make sure, uh, you know, people in the meeting room can see whatever source they need in the same building. And previously, as we already said, uh, the playlist. So here you can see it's automatically uh, playing the playlist and we can realize the automatic switching. But of course, you can also use the NDI core control panel to, uh, to, to select whatever outputs you need. Or even uh, if you directly connect a USB keypad with the decoder, you can also select whatever source uh, you want to output on the display. And um, then Let's just move to the uh, controls, the production room, the control center. We, as we have already uh, set up the NDI multi view, so all the signals can uh, come into the uh, multi view, either is through uh, the NDI core or not. Then the multi view can connect all the uh, video sources, and then through the four displays, then we can you know, show all the different outputs. So you can see we can, um, each of the display can be different, either is full screen for program, or is you know, whatever source you selected, and also can be different layouts. And also we can see with the multi view, we can put the information uh, with um, borders, the cross line, the view meters, the tally information for monitoring. So here you can see the multi view of the studio uh, I am in, and they can also, you know, you can display it to different destinations. Uh, so everything is so easy and it's all connected. And also, as you know, we have the link deck. So here we will show you how we can easily use the link deck to control the multi view. So uh, we can easily switch all the sources between the program and the preview. And uh, so you can see, you can select what, what, whatever number you are selecting for the preview and also for the program. And also you can use the 
uh, auto or the cut functions uh, to switch between each other from the right part you can see we are doing the operation and you can see simultaneously all those signals are switching or you can also use the t-bar to uh, take uh, the videos and if slowly you can control it uh, for the fading effects and uh, of course if you um, select any of the video sources from a PDZ camera as the preview and then you can use the joystick to control the PDZ cameras so you can either um, pan, tilt, zoom or if you just need to zoom in or zoom out you can also use our zoom deck to do that and um, we also have the um, intercom so let's take a look of uh, how we can use the intercom to talk to the producer in Studio 2, uh, asking him to zoom in and zoom out the camera. So actually, uh, Probably you cannot hear the voice, but actually the director are just talking uh, through the intercom and then the producer in Studio 2 actually just uh, uh, use the intercom to, to do all those kind of operations. And easily, you know, uh, we can see with NDI plus the KS systems for intercom, we can uh, realize those kind of uh, coordination. And of course, we understand that's very, very important for production. And lastly, let's take a look with our Killing Silver, which uh, actually can centralize and manage all the devices we're using uh, in this building. And you can see um, the real status. So from the dashboard, you can actually see all the devices connected, either is online or uh, offline. You can check the model number, you can check the IP address, the bit rates, uh, or whatever protocol you, you, you are using. And if you select any of uh, uh, the uh, specific video signal, then you can also uh, get, just get access to the device, you can check, you can uh, do all those kind of configuration, you can directly modify anything you want, or even if you want to uh, upgrade the device, you can enter into the maintenance mode and you can select whatever device you want to upgrade, you can upload the firmware, uh, uh, or whatever, you can just uh, do the upgrading by one click. Or even if you want to reboot the device, uh, it's also quite e easy and convenient. You don't need to uh, walk there in the, uh, uh, here and then select the device. So with the Killlink server, that's very, very easy, especially you know for, for us in this kind of building. So everything can all be under control. Okay, uh, then that's all for our lab demo. So if you want to check more details, please just uh, feel free to let us know.